Well, good morning. Welcome back to another video. Excuse me, my name is Chris. I'm with Didcom Outdoors. And uh, today is Father's Day. So happy Father's Day to everybody out there. And I want to give a special shout out to, to my dad who, uh, you know, taught me how to fish. And so, you know, I wouldn't be doing this without him. So appreciate you. i uh, be giving you a call a little bit later on after uh, the U.S. Open is over. So <clears throat> anyway, we're out here in Burles Inlet this morning and uh, the tide is going out right now for about the next hour or so. I'm just going to kind of drift along and, uh, and then fish kind of the slack tide and a little bit of the incoming tide. The wind is going to kick up a little bit today. So I'm not going to be out here too awful long, maybe two or three hours and uh, kind of call it a day. It's going to be kind of a short day here on the water. But uh, we're just going to kind of throw a variety of stuff today and kind of search out some fish and see what we can do. So uh, I appreciate you joining me this morning and uh, here we go. All right, guys, we're starting out with the Head and Spook uh, Junior here this morning and um, see if we can't pick something up on top water. I've been throwing this quite a bit this year, and <clears throat> you guys who follow me know that I haven't had a whole lot of success. The sun is up right now, so I don't know how good the top water is going to be. But, um, I mean, I love top water fishing, bass fishing, so, I mean, why wouldn't I start out with top water? I love it. So, I'm going to get on them one of these mornings. All right, y'all. I'm gonna change it up off of the top water a little bit, and we're gonna use this uh, Z-Man. And this is uh, the Diesel Minnow Z. Oops, I got them all wrapped around. The Diesel Minnow Z, and uh, it's in pinfish. I used this one yesterday. It worked pretty well for me. So, um, and I got him on a quarter ounce uh, Texas eye. Boy, I am just fumbling him all around. Here we go. And the quarter ounce Texas eye. So uh, we're going to throw him and we're going to rig him weedless here. He keeps sliding down the hook. So we are going to re-rig him. Make sure he is on there nice and tight. There we go. And we're going to pitch him along this shoreline. Oh, that is juicy. That is juicy right there. I'm just letting them sink, giving them a couple hops, letting them sink to the bottom, giving them a couple hops. Oop, there's some pinfish. And trying to get them down towards the bottom. You can kind of see the technique, bang, bang. Let it sink down, bang, bang. I hold my rod tip up to let him sink down, reel down, reel down. Just like that. That's, that's it. That's the technique that I'm using this morning. See a lot of birds here. And definitely some, whoa, there we go. Something just whacked it. I see bait, I see birds. There's gotta be some predatory fish right here. Has to be. There we go. There we go, fish on this morning. Fish on, fish on, fish on. He feels like a flounder. Yeah, he's a nicer flounder. Yeah, nice. Oh my gosh, just soaked us down. Yeah, look at that. Nice flounder this morning. Beauty. Nice flounder this morning. Let's get him on the board so we can get him out. Ah, this morning he is 
right at 16 guys 16 inch flounder nice fish nice fish this morning <clears throat> what a nice way to start the morning nice 16 inch flounder <coughs> and uh, I got him right off of this little turn and point here I saw bait I saw birds so you know there's there has to be fish here um, feeding on on this bait so you know look for those signs bait birds uh, the guys from salt strong call it the three B's baits birds and boils so you know they are right just here we go got another one this is a quarter ounce texas eye weedless you can see that uh z-man diesel minnow z and this is redfish toad so it's a little bit of a green color uh four inch little paddle tail and we're gonna get back down to the bottom um i was throwing that little eighth of an ounce but you know what I'm going to work these deeper areas and I'm going to be on the bottom. This is where these fish are going to be. The water's warm. The, uh, that's, they're going to be on the bottom looking for food. So I'm not seeing anything busting the top. The tide I don't think has switched around quite yet to be incoming. It may have. If it has, it's just started. Um, but I'm seeing a ton of bait fish running these uh, these shorelines here. So I'm going to be working the bottom of these these shorelines. Lots of boat traffic out here today. Father's Day brings them out. This is going to be a busy area. You get up into a creek get off of these main channels these boats can't get up into there especially now with it being low tide so after making a little bit of a paddle i still got this redfish toad on and uh we're in up in a creek right now so we're gonna work it up in here the boat traffic is it's pretty insane. Should have known, you know, Father's Day, there's going to be a ton of people out. But that's okay. We're going to be up in here because they, right now, the way the tide is, they can't, they can't get up in here. There we go. Fish on, guys, fish on. Looks like a nice flounder. Nice flounder. All right. Boy, when you get to some place that doesn't have any boat traffic, you can catch some fish. All right, cool. Hey now, hey now. Okay, he's a short one. Not bad. Let's get him back into the water here. Nice release on him. Good, good. All right, that's two today. Cool. Thumbs up. Again, keeping this thing on the bottom. That has been the key. Oh, I got a shark behind me. Almost look like a bonnet head. Oh, he would be sweet to get into. There we go. Yeah. Nice fish here. Nice fish. 
he is staying down and I'm, I'm gonna loosen my drag a little bit because I do not want to break him off oh I lost him gosh darn it oh it's the shark look oh man he had the tail oh that's what I wanted oh that was so cool <laughs> man oh look at that that was so cool there we go I need to tighten him down. Fish on! Oh man! And I lost him! Alright, what is going on here? Hopefully, hopefully I got him hooked, whatever he is. Oh! Nope. Man, whatever it is, man, he's pulling drag. It's got to be that shark. It's got to be. He's hitting that tail. <laughs> I mean, he is ripping out drag. Whatever I got. Nice big flounder. Nice big flounder there. He may be the one that was tail biting me. I let him have that one. I wasn't going to mess with him. Nice flounder there. we go yeah he is uh he is a better fish probably another keeper we're gonna throw him on the on the board i've got him on the fish grips i love my fish grips and uh so we'll let him get some oxygen and revive a little bit and kind of get reorganized and let's wet up my board again that flounder's not going anywhere Let's see what we got here. He is 17 and a half. Yep. 17 and a half. So my second keeper today. I got a 16, a 17, and then a shorty. So another nice, another nice fish. All right, let's get him released back in. A couple of misses. <coughs> Three fish, I think three fish. Yeah, three fish. So. We're gonna, we're gonna stay here. <clears throat> there we go, fish on again. Fish on. Oh, 
my net. Oh, another nice flounder here, guys. I'm trying to keep him down. Definitely want to try to keep him down. There we go. Wow, another nice one. That's another nice keeper flounder. And he is floundering. And he's already spit the <laughs> spit the hook, so he's already <laughs> unhooked. Whoa. He does not want to be a star. He does not want to be on camera. All right. There. Another nice fish. I'm going to throw him on the board too. So again, I'm going to... Got him on the fish grips. He's fine. You can, you can even, you can even hear him down there splashing around. Wet up the board. Let's make you a star here. He is. Seventeen and a quarter. So that's three keepers today. Seventeen and a quarter. Nice fish. Okay. The redfish toad on fire right now. The flounder bite has just been on. So <clears throat> this is a really good textbook area. Well, on a bend, this is a deep hole. There's structure here in between two little sandbars. Um, so the current's gonna be rushing through here and there's bait fish all over. So it's like a big conveyor belt just moving through. So this is a great spot. And this is what you wanna look for. <clears throat> Not so much, hey, I've got a honey hole type deal, but what the honey hole consists of. So that you can duplicate it and go around to other areas. Got another flounder right at the boat. Right at the boat. Yeah. He's got some legs. He is not happy either. Nice flounder. Whoa, yeah, man, he is. <gasps> I think you gotta look at me. He didn't like what he saw. Boy, the more I, the more he stays down, the more that he, uh... yeah, he is, he is in the net and he is not happy. Ah, yeah. That is a heavy fish, man. Yeah. That is a good fish today. Nice fish. <gasps> he wasn't on the fish grips. <laughs> wow. Well, he was boated. All right, well, that's all right. That's all right. We'll get another one. He, he counts, okay? Even though uh, we didn't get a real good look at him, he counts. 
Hey guys, well, I'm going to wrap up this video today. I um, appreciate you coming along on this Father's Day fishing mission. I'm going to be heading back watching the final round of the U.S. Open. But uh, today had a good day. Um, I don't know, five, six fish, can't remember. Lost a couple at the boat. Didn't keep a couple of them pinned up. Um, I did have that one cool, quick hookup with that shark. And I'm hoping that I got him swimming away on the camera. That was really cool. Uh, looked like a bonnet head. But um, uh, the key to today was um, having that bait on the bottom. So I had a quarter ounce bouncing them right off the bottom, keeping the food right in front of their face. So guys, I hope you enjoyed uh, today's um, little fishing trip. Don't forget to subscribe, like, leave a comment if uh, you guys have any questions. And uh, guys, happy Father's Day. We'll see you next time. Enjoy the day.